You know, Ed Hamilton is a world-renowned artist. His art celebrates his heritage with statues gracing some very famous locations. And yet, even with his fame and notoriety, he's still a very humble man. I think you're gonna enjoy meeting him. It all started in junior high school. And my junior high school art teacher, God bless her, Harriet O'Malley, that was her name, saw something. And so through her tutorage, uh, she managed to pull a lot out of me creatively that I might not have pulled out of myself, you know, or somebody, or maybe nobody else might not have seen it, I don't know. You see, in the black community, art was not a priority. <laughs> Survival was the priority. So I didn't meet a lot of artists growing up. And I grew up as an only child. And she ran a tight ship. Uh, and I mean tight, because I could barely, you know, go anywhere without her knowing where I was at any given time, you know. Although I did make my escapes through the back door sometimes. I'd get out of there, man, I'd be gone, you know. <laughs> but anyway, and my dad, unfortunately, when I was 13, he passed. And uh, so then it was just me and her, you know. And she still was in business doing her barbering, you know. From junior high, I graduated to high school, Shawnee High School, down the west end of Louisville. And turns out, Patsy Griffith, another fabulous art teacher, saw something in me. She said, look, you're gonna put a portfolio together and you're gonna go out to the Art Center School and apply for a scholarship and see if this it gets you in. And sure enough, we put together a portfolio of paintings and some clay work and stuff. And I was accepted, got a four-year scholarship. Barney Bright was a sculptor of note here. So I never really got a chance to really see who he was, what he looked like at this point. In 1973, I'm teaching ceramics and sculpture at Iroquois High School. So this one particular day, I need to go get some supplies, some clay. Well, where I'd buy clay was right next to Barney's studio. Well, I'm looking over at Barney's door as I'm packing up the car. I just was getting ready to just start, to start the car and go. And what do you think happened? He walked out his front door to check the mail in the mailbox. I walked over to him, I said, Mr. Bright, I'm Ed Hamilton, I'm a sculptor. He said, sure, come on in. Well, when I walked across that threshold, It was all I could do to contain myself. And so we spent a whole day. I never got back to school that day. He said, you know, I got a project coming up and he's gonna need some help. And I said, man, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. And that was the beginning of it. That was the beginning of not only a, a beautiful relationship with he and I, but helping me hone the skills that I was really looking forward to doing, but didn't really see any opportunity. Clay breathes, it's alive. It's part of the earth we walk on. I take that, manipulate it from mind to eyes, and then finally the fingertips, and something evolves. That's powerful, man. That's powerful, but I never take it for granted. I never take it for granted. If you've done your homework right, if you put your soul into it and you're satisfied, then something should provoke something in you. If I don't provoke you with my work, then I'm just another artist out there. You know. 
you know, there were, there were two people that when I was growing up were on your walls at home. Jesus or Abraham Lincoln or Joe Lewis or Booker T. That's it. That was the extent of my black his history. Wasn't in the history books. So now, with all the advent of all these monuments to these incidents and these people, people are just now beginning to realize the paths that a lot of African Americans have taken to help make this world a better place. I created these things. They're there now to be judged by the world. People will be there, you know, I'm dead and gone. My grandkids will be telling, you know, their kids. I feel proud. I do. I feel blessed. I want to be remembered in that I put my all into what I do. I loved my family. I was raised well. I don't wear my reputation on my sleeve, you know, because it could be gone within a minute. I want to be remembered by Ed was not self-indulgent and important. He had time to talk to me. That's where I want to be remembered.